Jeff from Two Hacks Garage. Well, as you saw in the last video, it was just a quick tutorial on two different methods to measure for push rod length. Um, we showed you how to use the actual cams uh, checker tool with the plastic over the rocker stud checker tool. Those two tools work great together. Use a caliper, measure, get your push rods. Um, in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show, show you how to set the lash on that. It's actually not that bad. Um, but it is a somewhat of a timely process to do all of that. However, that being said, it is pretty easy. What you do is you're going to follow the specifications that are with your rockers. These happen to be a Scorpion rocker. Um, we've already installed them on here. Um, basically, really quick, what to do to install those is you slide them over and you oil up everything and you run your nuts down. And right now you just leave them loose. So back, with back so you lock nuts up. So with that, what we're going to do here in a second, um, we're going to go in and show you actually how to set the lash on that. So with that, guys, see you in a few minutes. Okay. All right. So one of the first steps you kind of really want to do is, like I said, these are a Scorpion rocker. You want to go through their instruction manuals and kind of read what they have to say. We've gone through these. We're going to condense it for you. But the first thing you want to do on these is you you want to get actual pressure onto these. You want to run this down so there is no more movement in between there. You see how that's rocking? So all you're going to do is you're going to turn that down until that's not moving anymore. And then you're going to back it up just a tad and you're going to go just a little bit. So you just want to basically held into place very, very slightly. And what that is doing is that is zero lash. Now, mind you, what you're going to do is you're going to work one cylinder at a time and do your intake, or sorry, do your exhaust, do your intake, so on all the way down the line. So the first step on this is, is once you get that zero lash setting on there, you're going to have to adjust your preload. Well, be sure that you don't push because these lifters have never had oil in them yet, so they're not pumped up, so to speak, even though they're anti-pump up lifters. You did get anti-pump up lifters, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. So if you look here, you don't want to push on it real hard, because watch. I'm moving. You're moving that. Inside of the lifter. So this, when you're doing this, you don't want to cram this down too far. Because you're going to move that. The lifter. You just want it snug, so the thing is like held in place. Or to where you have no valve lash whatsoever. That's what zero lash is okay. on this. Now from that point, you're looking at the wrench, you want to go half a turn more. The, on the paperwork it said quarter to one turn and we decided that we're going to go a half initially. And all that's doing is that it's actually setting your preload um, on these actual lifters, which is important so they don't make a bunch of noise. And from there, like what you see Jimmy's doing, after you set your preload, he's going to go in and there's a lock nut in there. Okay, now tell him to read what I'm doing now. So what he's doing now is holding the wrench in place and he's tightening the lock nut. And what that's doing is going to, this actual nut here has a lock on it and that's going to hold that lock nut and this nut into place to the rocker studs. Now if you look here, it's got a little bit of side wiggle but no up and down wiggle. It'll always have that. Yeah, which you don't have to be worried about. Now if you were to fire this up on initial breakup and you hear some noise, not like a mechanical lifter noise but you can hear it, then you need to go back through and readjust your preload on these. Like I said, Scorpion says a quarter to a one inch full turn. We decided that we were going to go with a half turn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show this from a different angle on the intake side. Be right back. So what, so what Jimmy's doing now is he's rotating it over because you want it on the base circle of the cam, just like before. Um, and he's going to rotate that engine over. And if you look, he's got his finger. I'm going to put my finger on the hydraulic lifter until I know it's all the way down. Tell me when. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. And that feels like it's about right there. Let me see if it goes up. Keep going, Jimmy. 
Keep going. Just stop. Just nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Okay, it's on the base circle. About. So we're on the base circle of the cam right now. Like I said, some engines you can see very well in the oil galley. Small block Chevy, not so much. So now what he's doing is same thing. He's going to get that rocker arm where it's just snug. You're not going to do anything to push the actual push rod down into the hydraulic lifter. So, like I said, it's just snug. And here's going to be a little bit better of an angle of what he's doing. So he's going to take the wrench. And, like I said, he's going to go a half a turn. Scorpion said a quarter to one, in, one full turn. And we're going half. And then he's going to take that and he's going to lock that into place. We're not putting any Loctite on it. We're leaving it the way it is. And he's going to snug that up. Hear it pop like that. Got a little side movement, which you can't ever prevent, but there you go. The preload is set. So you do that on every single one of these. Like I said, you work your way from one cylinder down one bank and one cylinder down the other bank. It's very simple. Just make sure you do this when you have the cam on the base circle for every single one. If you think you don't got it right, go back through, check it again. With that, I'm just going to time lapse the rest. See you in a few. All right, well, that's it. Actually pretty straightforward. Not too bad at all. Basically, what, what kind of recap what we did is we set all the lifters, the preload on this, follow your instructions. Scorpion provides very, very good insulation instructions on that. You put your push rods in, well, lifters first, push rods. Put your rockers on, just make them snug and go cylinder to cylinder, to cylinder, to cylinder, intake exhaust, intake exhaust down and on. Um, like I said, follow your instructions. It's a very simple process, nothing crazy to it. Just make sure you set it right. Like I said, when you start these things up, brand new engine, sometimes you got to go back and readjust them. But with that being said, guys, this was actually a, a quick video, nothing crazy to it. We got everything set. We're ready to do the next video probably tomorrow, I'm going to guess, but it's going to be installing an intake manifold that we got from Holly. So with that, guys, hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you tomorrow. Later. Uh -huh.